Today, you know, we're taking the day off. Um, guys need a break, uh, but we'll practice tomorrow. And now knowing that we're, we're going to be in Chapel Hill and everybody will practice up there Thursday. So we'll practice here uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and uh, begin to put reports together and uh, just get ready to go and, and, uh, and get after it one more time. Um, you know, we certainly have our work cut out uh, with Chapel Hill and, you know, with North Carolina Liberty and Tennessee in it. Uh, the good thing for me is, that, you know, it's three good friends of mine that are coaching those clubs and uh, get an opportunity to see them and compete against their ball clubs. And uh, it'll be an exciting weekend for us. You're obviously familiar with North Carolina. What do you know about Tennessee and Liberty? Not a lot at this point. Um, you know, we'll we'll have to do our homework and, and see what kind of information we can we can put together. But uh, you know, it's it's really more about us uh, and how we prepare and, and how we go perform as it is. Uh, you you can put all, put together all the scout reports you want, but uh, the bottom line is how you go compete. And you know, if our guys show up the way they did this past week, you know, we give ourselves opportunity to to keep playing for a little while longer. The competitiveness of, a, of our guys, you know, they, they didn't quit all week. Um, you know, even the first game of the tournament, you know, we got out out front. Uh, Northeastern came back a couple different times, and you know, we continued to, to answer. And uh, then the same thing happened happened yesterday. You know, we worked our way out in front. Elon came back. We were able to stop it and hold the lead, and you know. And then even in the ninth inning, once they tied the game up and had a couple runners on, our guys didn't panic. We continued to make pitches and make plays, and uh, and then Noel Lyles came up. He and he and Chris Thorburn came up with two big knocks in the tenth to give us the lead, and, and uh, we were able to hang on uh, against a really really good club. So. Uh, you know, there's some confidence there going into this weekend. And hopefully, like I said, you know, we can play uh, a similar style of baseball as we get up there this weekend. Your Chapel Hill, I know, has a special meaning for you. Does it kind of feel like that career has gone full circle for you now, getting you know, up there? It does. You know, I really hadn't thought a whole lot about it. Um, but certainly starting as a grad assistant up there, Getting a chance, Coach Roberts gave me a chance to come up as a GA and then stay with another year full-time, part-time pay job, and uh, and then work my way back here. But uh, and Mike Fox is, you know, Mike's one of my best friends in the game. Uh, he and I played against each other, uh, coached against one another, and and been close throughout our careers. And uh, so uh, Scott Jackson being there, Scotty was one of my former assistants, and he's doing a tremendous job at Liberty. And, uh, so it, it, it'll be an exciting time. And Tony, being at Tennessee, known him for a while, and he's done a great job there. And, and uh, you know, it's all about the players, though. It's not about us as coaches. It's about the players, and, you know, and their experience, and them getting a chance to go compete another week. Uh, I'm excited for our young players. I'm excited for our older guys to get that that opportunity one more time. And then Coach, you know, going into this weekend, how do you handle your pitching staff? You know, you saw the kind of tournament format that you had to have for the CAA tournament. What does it look like for the regional, you know, with just four teams in and you really don't know how many games you'll end up playing? Uh, you know, we, we need to sit down and kind of map it out a little bit. You know, bringing Luke back yesterday, um, you know, he, he's not going to be prepared to go Friday. Uh, we wouldn't expect him to go Friday. So, you know, Zarian's probably going to be the – the most rested, although Landon could be as well, and you know we'll we'll see how they feel as the week goes on, and uh, and then you know take a look at lineups of the three teams that we're facing, and and hopefully we can match those guys up best we can, and and, and as healthy and, and ready as they are, uh, and I don't think it matters to any one of those three starters, you know which game they go, you know, they just want to be a part of, them, want to help any way they can.